what we do for scientific notation. This is one where I'm thinking you've seen it before, but just in case you haven't, I'm just going to show you how to do it. When we get to class, we'll talk about why it is so and all that. So, the why. Basically, you, or the what. How do we do it? You have, you have to have one whole number between 1 and 9 and then a decimal place. So something like this first one where it's point zero 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 three four five seven, you have to have your first number 3 and then the decimal place and then 4 or point four five seven. Okay, now then it's going to be multiplied by a power of 10. When it is a number smaller, so basically when you have to move your decimal place to the left, that's a negative power. When it's bigger, such as in the next one, that is a positive power of 10. To how to figure out what that power is, if that decimal place is right there, to get back to where it goes, you have to move the decimal place. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it would be negative 10. All right. Um, in the next one, your first whole number is 2, and then be 0 0.30 times 10. This time, I'm putting my decimal place there. I move to the right, so it's going to be a positive power. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So times 10 to the 11th. Okay, let me do these. Oh, those are you tries. I'm not going to do them. Um, okay, you're going to try those. Basically, keep in mind, you just find the first number. So here's two. Put your decimal place after that, and then count. If it's a number smaller, it's going to be to a negative power. If it's a number bigger, such as this one, it's going to be to a positive power. All right, take a minute and do those, and I will go to the next page. All right, so the next page, when we are multiplying, do it the same way. Okay, so multiply expressing the product in scientific notation. So when we multiply, you take your first numbers, 3.1 times 2. When you multiply that, you get 6.2. All right, and then when we multiply 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 3rd, we know that is exponents, which is why scientific notation is in the exponents chapter. When you are multiplying same base, what do we do with the exponents? Yeah, we add them. So that will be 10 to the ninth. So you get 6.2 times 10 to the ninth. The one thing you have to be careful of with the next one, when it's 9.1 times 10 to the seventh, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 18th. When you do 9.1 times 3.2, you get 29.12. Okay, now I'll finish that. So 10 to the 7th, 10 to the negative 18. 7 plus negative 18 is negative 11. This is not correct scientific notation because it's 29 point. It should be 2.912 for it to be scientific notation. So we need to convert that. Now, you need to think about it very carefully. As it is, it's 29.12 times 10 to the negative 11. So if you think about it, you're going to take this decimal place and you're going to move this way 11 spots. Now, I've moved the decimal place to here. So I'm going to start here. Now I have to really only move how many? Yeah, 10 spots. All right, so that's what you want to think about when you are moving it. Okay, go ahead and try those two you tries, and then we will go on to the next. All right, so now we're dividing. This gives you a little scenario. On February 2nd, 2010, the U.S. Treasury estimated the national debt at 1.2278 times 10 to the 13th. Now, the population was about 3.086 times 10 to the 8th. Using these estimates, calculate the per person share of the national debt. So you need to take 1.2278. 1 1.2278 times 10 to the 13th divide by 3.086 times 10 to the 8th. Now, same thing as with multiplication. You actually do 
divided by 3.086, and that is 0.3979 times 10 to the 13. When we're dividing, what do we do with the exponents? Yep, subtract 13 minus 8 is 5. That is not correct scientific notation, so you need to move that decimal place to be 3.979. So think about it from here. I need to go 5 to the right. So now if I'm starting here, I only need to go 4 to the right, so it would be times 10 to the 4th. Whether you have to move that up one or down one all depends on what the number is. There's the bell. Class is over.